Tally ho, tally ho, ladies and gentlemen. Tally ho there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the show. And today I'll be looking at QNAP's TS451 Plus. So I'm just going to do a quick, dirty unboxing of it. It has the plus there, so it's not the 451, it's the 451 Plus. NAS, it's a four bay NAS. It has just recently been released by QNAP. It's made for home users and small businesses. It's actually jam-packed full of features. We'll just have a quick overview of the specifications. It has an Intel Serilong quad-core 2 GHz processor, 64-bit processor. It can burst up to 2.42 GHz. This comes with 2 GB RAM and it's upgradable to 8 GB RAM, so that will be good in a heavy usage environment. It has four drive bays. It has two USB 3 ports. Two USB 2 ports, 2 gigabit LAN ports. Some of the key features of this is you can actually run multiple operating systems in virtualization. So you can run Windows on this in virtualization, Linux, whatever. So you have the cloud ready surveillance station and you get two free channels with that. This can transcode full HD with 7.1 surround sound via the HDMI. So you can use this for Plex. You can transcode all your videos from Plex at full HD and share it with all your DLNA devices. And this can be scaled to 12 drives using QNAP's UX800P or UX500P. So as I said, it comes with two gigs of RAM. This one can be upgraded to eight gigabytes. So let's have a quick look, eh? Don't need my cleaver. So what do we get in the box? Okay, so you get your power cable there. Lovely bit of foam. Then you get in here, you get the rest of your power. You get some instructions. Push that back a bit. Um, you get your power brick there, so it's an external power supply. You get your quick setup guide. You get a remote control, so that's cool. So you can use connect it to your TV and stream all your media from it using the remote, which is handy. Get some screws there, and you get two Cat 5E LAN cables or ethernet cable, sorry. And then you have the unit itself. I will put this box away. And there you have the QNAP unit itself. So there it is. In the front you have your LED indicator lights. You have a power button, USB 3, and a one touch copy button there. And let's see here. They come out nice and easy. Toolless. Now you'll have to use the screws on those. So it's not completely toolless. So they seem to go in and out pretty easy there. And let's have a look around and see what we've got on the back. We have one big honking fan here. It's a massive fan. Be interesting to see how quiet it is. You have a HDMI port, two gigabit LAN ports, two USB 2 ports, another USB 3 port, got your Kingston lock there, and you have your power socket. What's it say here? It shows you how to easily get in, connect. You can use a QR code, and you can just type in start.qnat.com to start setting it up. On the top, what do we got here? We've got quad core Serilon 2.0 gigahertz up to 8 gigabytes DDR3L RAM. Hardware transcoding engine runs virtual machines on this NAS. Yes, so as I said, you can run multiple operating systems on that, which is always a good thing. And you can actually use this as a computer as well. So you can plug your keyboard in and hook it up to your monitor. So instead of using a web interface, you can actually use this as a normal little computer and you'll be using Chrome, the Linux version and 
Firefox to Linux version 2 because the actual QNAP is running a version of Linux. So there you have it guys. That's my quick and dirty unboxing. I will be doing a full review of this. So subscribe if you want to see that. Give us a thumbs up if you like my video. And until next time guys, tally ho. Tally ho, tally ho, ladies and gentlemen.